Hey guys, it's Rick and I'm here with a adventure pickup video. If you guys watch my reviews, you'll know what this video is all about. I teased it in my review video. If you guys don't watch my review videos, why not? Don't you want to hear my thoughts on film? Uh, just kidding. Uh, a lot of you guys just don't watch the review videos. I don't think it's for you. I think you're here for pickups. So we're going to get into pickups and the stuff that I'm talking about, the adventure I'm talking about, was Bridget and I went away on a weekend trip to Red Bank, New Jersey, home of The Secret Stash. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I post photos from the trip. I took a bunch of photos inside The Secret Stash. I took my photo in front of the original Quick Stop in Leonardo, New Jersey. Uh, also in The Secret Stash, I took my photo with Iron Bob, uh, Buddy Christ, uh, what else? In front of the, the clerk's backstop, uh, with the, the walrus from Tusk. Tons of fun photos. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, do yourselves a favor. Go to the description box, click on my Instagram. Even if you're not on Instagram, look at the photos. Some really cool photos, especially if you're a fan of Kevin Smith. So I'm going to talk about some stuff, not only that I picked up on the way to Red Bank on a hunting adventure, uh, and what I got from the secret stash, although I will say I have a t-shirt that I got. I didn't feel like changing, but uh, it is a very cool Jay and Silent Bob secret stash shirt that you'll see. I'll try to record it for my next batch of videos. I'll wear that shirt. Um, but I also want to show some stuff that I got from Jupiter Records, which um, Bridget and I went to again uh, before we went away. I think it was the weekend before we went away. So I'm going to combine that with what I got on the way to Red Bank. And we'll talk about that stuff first, show you what we got to Red Bank. Also a crazy part of this trip was that we went to a Suncoast video. The first time I've been in Suncoast video in probably like over 15 years easily. Uh, there's only like five or six Suncoast videos left in the country. There happened to be one in New Jersey about 20 minutes from where we were staying. So we took a detour on the way home, went to the mall, and went to Suntro's video and I got myself something because I need to keep the bag. I have a Suntro's video bag. Um, it's just a plastic bag, but I'm keeping that. And now I will show what I got from the secret stash minus my new shirt. So first up, like I said, I'm going to show some stuff that I grabbed at Jupiter Records. The first title here just really caught my eye because I love like behind the scenes stuff of old Hollywood. And I believe this is a documentary put out by Warner. It caught my eye because if you look at the spine, you would think it's a Warner Archive title, but I don't believe it is. I think it's a it's a regular DVD it's from 2008. I think it's a pressed, yep, it's a pressed DVD. Uh, minty Fresh, a little speck of dust on there. But let me know, have you guys seen this one? The Brothers Warner. Um, it doesn't say anything about the Warner sister dot though. Animaniacs show people. Um, so this is a documentary called The Brothers Warner. Um, 94 minutes. Like I said, I'm very curious. I guess it's the start of the Warner Brothers uh, Studios, which is intriguing to me. Uh, this was $2.99, so the price point was great. Um, and I'm just really curious to check this one out. So let me know, have you seen this documentary, The Brothers Warner? Uh, let me know if it is any good. This next title that we have uh, is a movie that keeps popping up. Bridget and I watch a lot of Watch Mojo lists, and they talk about like the top twists or the top movies of this generation or the top this or the worst that or the. But this movie's always talked about, and uh, I didn't want to buy the Blu-ray because honestly, the movie seems like it is not in my comfort zone. But I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone when we watch this two and a half hour runtime. Uh, directed by and written by David Lynch, who did uh, Twin Peaks, stars Justin Theroux and Naomi Watts, and as a film called Mulholland Drive. Like I said, I, I know this movie isn't for everyone. I expect it to be very weird, especially um, because David Lynch is a very weird person. It's interesting, too. So, obviously, a collector had... Um, had sold in or traded in movies and this was part of the Philadelphia Inquirer of 2014 
and there's a newspaper article, The Place That Haunts David Lynch. And it talks about, it's the full article about the place that haunts David Lynch. So I'm going to keep that folded up in here. And uh, after I watch the movie, because I don't want any spoiler alerts in case it's connected uh, to the movie. Uh, I just think that's really cool that the person had that inside. And the disc is mint. So uh, that was $2.99 also. So Mulholland Drive on DVD. And this was really cool because uh, I own both of these on DVD. And this was a space saver. Plus, I'm hoping, hoping the quality of one of these movies is better than the version I have. And it is a hard double feature with the original House on Heart, A Haunted Hill, which I absolutely loved with Vincent Price. And the remake, like I said, I own both of these on DVD. Actually, right here. I can... I'm back. So I own the Snapper Case release and I own the Good Times release. So I'm hoping that this is a better quality um, version of the original than this one was. Because this movie is on Blu-ray, but it's part of a Vincent Price box set that is out of print and just way out of my price range. I don't think I'll ever get my hands on it, honestly. So those I'll pull from the shelf. This will be on the shelf as a replacement. I know this is released from Shout Factory, but I don't necessarily need the uh, the Blu-ray of that right now. And it goes for like 30 bucks, and I don't feel like spending that, especially we rewatched this movie not too long ago. But I love this movie. Can't believe how much I enjoyed the original House on Haunted Hill. So, got the double feature, and that was, I think, $4.99, which was a good price point for that. Next up... For my wrestling fans, I think you'll appreciate this. A Ring of Honor DVD, and this is Bloodstained Honor. And what caught my eye about this, obviously you got Samoa Joe on the front there, but also CM Punk is in multiple matches on this. Um, Austin Aries, Roderick Strong, uh, Abyss, Colt Cabana, uh, Chris Hero, Jimmy Jacobs, uh, Kevin Steen, who goes by Kevin Owens, now in El Generico, Sami Zayn. So lots of like familiar faces. This is from like 13 years ago. I'm a sucker for, for wrestling, especially old familiar faces. And Ring of Honor put on amazing matches. It's like over three hours and they're bloody fights. So uh, I know it's predetermined. I got it. I hope you guys don't use the F word though, because it is not the F word. It is predetermined. Uh, so blood... Stained, blood stained honor, a Ring of Honor DVD from 07. Definitely wanted to add that to my collection, and I did. This was $4.99 as well. Then a couple Criterions. That's right, I got Criterions, people. Uh, they're both DVDs. This is a movie that Bridget and myself have never seen. Uh, I love the filmmaker that made the film, so I was curious. It also stars. Uh, David Bowie, Harry Dean Stanton, Barbara Hershey, Harvey Keitel, Willem Dafoe, and directed by Martin Scorsese, and that is The Lamp, yeah, The Lamp, The Last Temptation of Christ on DVD, this being the Criterion, comes with the, the booklet, and uh, I've never seen it, so this was $7.99 for the Criterion DVD, so grab that, um, this is a long, yeah, it's an hour and, uh, two hours and 45 minutes. So we'll check that out at some point. And then uh, I had gone back because my friend Joe, Joe Martinez, wanted some, some titles that he had saw in the video from when Dave and I went to Jupiter Records and uh, asked me to grab them if they were still available, which I had no problem because by the time this video drops, he had been to Pennsylvania already. I'm excited about it because it's this coming weekend when I record it, but it would have been old news by the time this video drops. But this caught my eye because this went out of print on Criterion DVD, and I think it's out of print on normal DVD. It comes with the booklet. It was $13.99 or $14.99, and that is the film, which I've never seen, 
Harold and Maude, this being the Criterion DVD. Like I said, this went out of print. Uh, they're supposed to re-release a bunch of stuff, I think, to Paramount Presents. But they immediately pulled five or six of the Criterion titles. Uh, Rosemary's Baby, Nashville, Harold and Maude, and a few others. So I grabbed this. I've never seen it. And it's going for really, really good money. So after I watch it, if I don't love it, um, I will sell it. Um, also, if I watch it and I do love it, I might sell it and buy it when it comes out on Blu-ray. We'll see. Uh, I know it has a tight runtime, and the documentary series that we watched a while ago called The Movies on HBO Max talked about this movie. So, I grabbed that. And that is it for the Delaware portion of the hunting adventure. Like I said, we made our way down to Red Bank, which is a bit of a drive for us, but... The cool thing was um, we stopped at a bunch of thrift stores on the way down, which is something I love about Bridget. She goes to thrift stores. She enjoys it. And that means I, I mean, I love it because obviously movies. So um, I got some stuff to show you guys. The first thing here we paid 20 cents for because they had DVDs five for a dollar. I wish they had a bigger DVD section. Uh, but this is really cool. Bridget and I both love watching the show and there's some fun um, bonus features in here. And I think it's like a behind the scenes of the show as well, but it is Jeopardy an inside look at America's favorite quiz show. There's Alex there on the front features the first episode of Jeopardy that he hosted, uh, the game Ken Jennings lost after winning like 70 plus times in a row. And then, um, the ultimate finals uh which was three episodes plus like i said behind the scenes of the show and whatnot so for 20 cents i needed another title and this looked like it would be fun so i grabbed that i thought it would be a good time to check out and watch because like i said we watch jeopardy every day uh next up was a store these dvds were two bucks a piece i believe yeah everything else up until the Suncoast title were $2 each. Uh, the first one I honestly got to probably just watch one time and then sell it because I just wanted to revisit how crazy this show was since it's not on anymore. And it is Blind Date, Dates from Hell Uncensored. So this will probably be just like a one-time watch. It's like 40 minutes and then I'll sell it. I think the disc was mint. Yep, the disc is minty fresh. So. It'll be a one-time watch to see how crazy it was and how awkward it was and how I used to love watching this show when I was super young, which is bizarre. So this was two bucks. As you guys know, I've mentioned that I'm a huge fan of the real world, MTV Road Rules The Challenge, now known as The Challenge. So I saw these two DVDs and had to get them. Uh, this first one is The Real World You Never Saw, Paris. So if you watch The Real World or The Challenge, you'll recognize Baby CT there. CT is still on The Challenge to this day. Uh, also Ace, who was on The Challenge All-Stars. Uh, Adam, who got in a fist fight with CT. He didn't win. Uh, and then anybody else that's recognizable now to this day? Uh, Mallory, so Christina, but... Yeah, I, I like watching this stuff. I know it's garbage TV to some people, but I enjoy it. It's an hour. Um, the real world, you never saw Paris. So that is fun. I'm excited to revisit that. And then also another real world you never saw. This being from a season that I watched when it was on. Because it was on 2003, so I was 18. Like the peak time to watch the real world. And that is the real world Las Vegas. Uh, you never saw Confessions from Sin City, which features uh, Trishel, who went on to be like a garbage TV celebrity. She was on The Surreal Life and whatnot. Steven, then you have uh, Alton and Arissa. You have uh, Frank, who is a weird character. And uh, this was cool. They lived in one of the hotels. If I remember correctly, they had like a bowling alley in their suite that they stayed in and they had to work for the casino. But uh, there was a lot of stuff that happened in the season that I still remember. But 20 years ago, and uh, like I said, I was 18 when this was on, so I was a big fan of it. And uh, it was interesting. So I'm curious to see how this stuff holds up. 
Uh, the next title here, this was all from a store, oh, it was something, something shed or something. There was multiple rooms full of media. It was amazing. Uh, I did not own this movie and uh, it is on my best picture winners to watch list because I have a list of uh, Oscar best pictures that I've never seen that I want to see. And this is one I've never seen starring Helena Bonham Carter, Jeffrey Rush, and Colin Firth. And that is The King's Speech. This was two bucks as well. I did not yet own this, I don't think. I hope. Nope, didn't own it. So The King's Speech, I was pretty sure I didn't own it. Um, excited to check this one out. That goes over here. Uh, then we went to a Goodwill in the Highlands by, uh, was that Clown Liquor that was featured in Clerks 2 in the opening credits montage when they're driving to, um, movies. They're, they passed Clown Liquors with the giant clown face sign, and this was a Goodwill in that area. Bridget wanted me to get this one. I do know it's on Blu-ray, but it's like a $20 title, and I've never seen it, and this was two bucks brand new sealed. And that is Love Story, which stars Tatum, not Tatum, Ryan O'Neill and Allie McGraw. I've never seen this movie. She said we should get it and watch it. So Love Story on DVD. Need to see this one. Have never seen it. And this is a movie that I remember seeing like posters for and reading about it in Entertainment Weekly back in the day, but have never seen it. This is actually a full frame movie uh, DVD. I don't think this has ever gotten a Blu-ray release, but it stars um, Joseph Mazzello from The Lost World and Jurassic Park and also Brad Renfro from App Pupil and, and Ghost World. It is a film called The, P yeah, the Pure, The Cure, uh, which my understanding is uh, the, the, Joseph Mazzello's character is like 11 or 12 and has AIDS. And he makes friends with uh, Brad Renfro's character. And it's like about their adventures for the summer. Almost like a Tom Sawyer-esque movie. But yeah, I've never seen this movie. I remember seeing this poster all the time. But I've never seen the, the actual movie. So why not? I figured I'd grab it. The Cure on DVD. Let me know. Is this one good, guys? And then I told you guys I wasn't lying. I went to Suncoast Video. The store for movie lovers, suncoast.com. There it is on the bag. Guys, to be honest, Suncoast video is just a glorified um, FYE now. It's owned by the same company. I kept my receipt here. Uh, cool thing that I bought at Suncoast video. They had buy two, use, get one for a dollar, just like FYE. And they had Detroit Rock City on Blu-ray for $13.99, which if you guys don't know, is extremely out of print. Also bought another Blu-ray, uh, The Awakenings film, or not The Awakenings, Awakenings with Robert De Niro and Robin Williams. So I paid $30, and this movie cost me a dollar out of pocket. Detroit Rock City should sell for like 50 bucks, so I will make money and add this to my collection. I recently grabbed um, another one of these, which I think was from 2019 or 2020, best of 2020. So I love these documentaries and it's WWE 24, the best of 2018, which has empowered, which is all about the women's uh, revolution, the behind the scenes of Raw 25, the Hardys, and then WrestleMania Orlando. So it's like the behind the scenes about the day of an event. So it, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So I think this will talk about the evolution pay-per-view. This will be like a day in the life of the Hardy boys, but talking about other stuff. Raw 25th anniversary and then WrestleMania, uh, this would be what, 35 or 34? WrestleMania 34. So I'm excited to check this out. Like I said, it didn't cost me much out of pocket. It probably will technically be free uh, because Detroit Rock City, I'm sure, will sell. I wanted to keep it for myself, but the amount of money it was going for, uh, I just figured I'd come across it again at a different time. So I'm keeping the bag. I'm keeping the movie in the bag for right now. Actually, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to just keep the bag. So we're going to keep that. Let's going to get all folded up and nice. Oh, that was the bag. The bag did that, not me. Uh, and then the secret stash. So like I said, I got a really cool t-shirt 
from the stash with the new logo of the secret stash, which has Jay and Silent Bob on it, um, but a newer uh, picture of it. And I got three other things. So the first thing here is pretty cool. It is the Clerks Holiday Special comic. And if you guys can see there, it is signed by the man himself, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith loves to go in that store and sign everything that he's affiliated with. So I thought this would be fun to take a look at. Maybe get it framed at some point um, and just have a cool Kevin Smith Clerks comic book. So that is awesome. Signed by Kevin Smith. This is cool. This is going to go on my backpack that I use for movie hunting. Oh, I am blurry. As a Jay and Silent Bob secret stash pin. How do they do it? They do it like that. Look at that. You can tell I watch YouTube. That's how you focus it. So secret stash pin. I'm blurry. I am not blurry. And then if you guys know, I am a collector of autographed books. I'm actually in the near future going to do a book of, um, oh man, the cover of this got bent. That is annoying. Uh, I'm going to do a video in the near future. I have a video, a book coming in May that's signed. Uh, I'm going to do a video of my autographed book collection. So I have another book on the shelf here that I've not shown yet in a video. This one I'm going to show because it's awesome. I got at the secret stash and that is Jay and Silent Bob's blueprint for destroying everything. And not only is it signed by the man, Kevin Smith, it is signed by Mr. Snoochie Boochies himself, Jason Muse. So signed by Kevin Smith and Jason Muse. They signed the cover of it. Usually they sign the inner page. Plus it got bent a little, which sucks. Uh, but I'm going to put it in some kind of like bag um, to, huh, wow. See, this is hilarious and I really want to show this on video. It says operation destroy useless DVD library. It has Blu-rays, brand new, expensive DVDs. And it says dog ass, but it obviously says more than dog ass and it has a pile of S figure a Blu-rays come out. That makes DVDs useless. Figure B, dump over shelf of DVDs. <laughs> Figure C, light DVD collection on fire. And it has Muse giving the fire a finger. And it says, forget you, old thing. And then Figure D, empty bank account, purchasing movie library all over again on Blu-ray. Set for life, sir. Nothing will ever surpass Blu-ray. So I'm going to show that from a distance because there's some language. But uh, that's pretty funny and kind of the way I feel about DVDs, although I do own a bunch of DVDs, but I would prefer Blu-ray. It's on page 68 and 69. Fitting. So I am going to put this in some kind of bag um, to keep it protected since the signatures are on the outside and it will go on my autograph bookshelf. Like I said, I'll do a video probably sometime in the next couple months showcasing my autograph book collection. Some really cool stuff to show you guys in that collection. And that is it, guys. That is everything from the Delaware Jupiter Records Hall and the Red Bank, New Jersey Getaway Hall. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. We're doing the elevator here. Also, be sure to subscribe if you don't do so already. Hit the bell notification so you guys know when new titles are coming to the channel. Um, new videos, not new titles. And uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say there. Also, be sure to check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterbox for I rate and review all the movies that I watch. Also, Amazon wishlist, Blu-ray.com profile, eBay store. Um, I totally just blanked. P.O. Box. Uh, email address can all be found down below. That is it. I need to go get a drink of water to keep recording. I have two more videos I want to do. And uh, that'll be 10 for the weekend. So I'll probably throw in the towel after those two videos. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Until next time, who's down?
to movie.